what is the average fluid velocity in a pipe you can see uh, the velocity in a pipe we have already discussed for have a parabolic profile the velocity will be high at the center as you go towards wall velocity will be reduced so how to calculate the average velocity through the pipe in order to calculate the average velocity through the pipe you will consider a concentric area here of uh, thickness delta r a circle of uh, delta r uh, thickness delta r it is at a radius of cap small r so you know the velocity at that location okay, small r is equal to u is equal to minus 1 by 4 mu dp by dx into capital r square minus small r square so there is no two here uh, this is the expression we have derived we will calculate the discharge through this area that is dq u into da so this elemental area is da it has got a thickness delta r and this area is equal to 2 pi r into delta r so dq element of that discharge through that area is equal to u into da that is 2 pi r da so that elemental area is equal to circumference that is 2 pi r into da the thickness this is equal to minus 1 by 4 mu dp by dx into capital r square minus small r square into 2 pi r dr so in this way you can calculate the total discharge to the pipe the total discharge will be found by integrating this small dq if you integrate it you will get q is equal to minus 1 by 4 mu dp by dx into capital r square into small r square by 2 minus r raised to 4 by 4 into 2 pi within the limits 0 to r so this will be integrated like this r square into r minus r cube so this will be r square into r square by 2 minus r raised to 4 by so if you apply the limits you will get minus 1 by 4 mu dp by dx into r raised to 4 by 4 into 2 pi so this is the total discharge the total discharge can also be written as q is equal to u average into pi r square that is equal to minus 1 by 4 mu dp by dx into r raised to 4 by 4 into 2 pi this expression we have derived it here is a total discharge can be written as u average into pi r square that is the area of the pipe and u average is equal to minus 1 by 8 mu solving this you will get minus 1 by 8 mu dp by dx into capital r square and u max is equal to u center is equal to minus 1 by 4 mu dp by dx into capital r square and the ratio of u max by u average is equal to 2 so this is the best way to remember u average is equal to u maximum by 2 what is hagen poiseville equation hagen poiseville equation is used to calculate the head loss in a laminar pipe flow you can see the pipe flow here so the fluid flow will be like this it, uh, if you take the pressure here and here at 1 and 2 it will be p1 and p2 it is at a length of l and you know the average velocity u average is equal to minus 1 by 8 mu dp by dx into r square we have derived earlier from this you can get dp by dx dp by dx is defined as the rate of pressure loss along the length rate of change of pressure along the length 
this is equal to p2 minus p1 by l this is equal to minus p1 minus p2 by l so dp by dx is equal to minus 8 mu u bar by r square that means if you sub that is from this equation you will get that because u average you can also write it as u bar that is the mean velocity this is the average velocity both are equal so dp by dx can be uh, is can be determined as minus 8 mu u bar by r square this is the pressure rate of change of pressure along the length that means you can write minus p1 minus p2 by l is equal to minus 8 mu u bar by r square and p1 minus p2 by rho g is equal to 8 mu u bar l by rho g capital r square So you can write P1 minus P2 by rho g is equal to 8 mu u bar L by rho g d by 2 the whole square. So, um, radius is equal to uh, diameter by 2. So you can write head loss HF is equal to uh, P1 minus P2 by rho g into 32 mu u bar L by rho g d square. So head loss it will become 32 mu u bar l by rho g d square this is the hagen poissivili equation so this is applicable only for a laminar fluid flow laminar flow only how to determine the friction factor in a laminar flow we have seen here we have derived the head loss is equal to 32 mu u bar l by rho g d square is a hagen poissivili equation for a laminar flow also we have derived this equation hf is equal to 4 fl v square by 2 gd this is the darcy weisbach equation we need to determine the value of f that is the darcy's friction factor from these two equations you can of course you can uh, equate these two and you will get 4 fl v square by 2 gd is equal to 32 mu u bar l by rho g d square so if you rearrange you will get f as is equal f as 16 mu by rho v d and if you rearrange you will get 16 by rho v d by mu uh, see here uh, velocity v is equal to u bar so here the velocity v this is the average velocity in a pipe and u bar is the average velocity or the mean velocity so you will get f is f was 16 by r e 16 by reynolds this is the value of the darcy's friction factor for a laminar fluid flow and for a turbulent flow f is will be equal to 0 0.079 by r e raised to 1 by 4 for a smooth 